<laughs> it's so beautiful today. Oh my goodness. And look at the beautiful pine forest. Oh. And someone has been working here in the park on the path so that now there's actually some nice little uh, like logs. I think this is how it was originally, but the logs were just like, you can see where they were embedded in the ground all over the place, but someone put them in a nice little trail. So that's really cool. So I can walk across that. And this is towards um, one of the two frog spawn spots. But let me see if I can. Hi. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So we're back in the park. It's a beautiful day. And I just, the moment my car hit the gravel in the parking lot, I felt so content and happy because I was like, this, this is where I'm supposed to be, is outside among the plants. I deal with the digital plants and animals all day in our amazing series, but this, oh, I'm so glad we have the greenhouse channel now because I feel like I can give myself permission to come out here and go on these walks and share them with you. And I've noticed no one else really tends to do that. Like all the vlogs are in houses and things and that's cool, but this is more my style. So, you know, and I tend to like think, oh, that's really cool that they did so-and-so in a vlog. So I hope these encourage you to go on a walk. And if you do, tweet me the pictures, put them on Facebook, um, whatever you want just to show people the beauty of the natural world. We have people all over the, the entire world who share our community. And I hope that we can share some of their amazing things. And if I'm not getting a very good image, I'm sorry. It's just my little camera phone still. Thinking about buying a camcorder soon. We'll have to see. I have a lot of other expenses to pay first. But, oh, you guys, I love being out here. And let's see if we can find anything awesome today. So that's our goal is just to see, oh, and it smells like spring too. Just to see what's out here. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's just so beautiful here. Oh, pine forest. Also, we have come upon one of my favorite sticks. I see this guy every time I walk this direction and I just admire the bracket fungus or whatever this is growing on him every time. That, that is some nice beautiful fungus right there. Isn't that just so nice? Oh, I'm going to have to take pictures of it. You just have to slow down sometimes. I think a lot of people miss out on some of the most amazing parts of hikes because they go too fast. They don't slow down. They don't look at the little mysteries. Like how beautiful, just how absolutely beautiful the tiny ferns on this moss are. The fronds, how pretty they are. Like I was saying, it, if it's like okay, then touching these things, I feel like just wakes up, wakes up something in us that's so important. Or even just doing something silly. Like people are so serious when they go on their walks. They put on their tennis shoes and their athletic clothes and they go do 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 arms straight out to the sides when they hike. And what if you just want to pick up a stick and throw it? <laughs> Losing my fear of people thinking I'm silly is the best thing that ever happened to me. look what I found isn't this cute it is a little hole which isn't so cute but look at the seed somebody brought a little seed up into this tree cracked it open and ate it and left it here but I have actually been up in these mountains for uh, well <laughs> probably a couple hours now I came up here earlier with you guys and recorded that little intro and you may notice the Sun has really changed positions because I got a phone call from my cousin who I haven't heard from in like two years and I just ended up talking with her up here wandering back and forth 
and it was kind of cool. And I'm going to take you guys down to some of the things I found. Oh, I passed one while I was wandering. Look at this moss. Oh, hang on. Let me focus on it. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful, gorgeous moss? Look at the little coloring of the little orange, like... I wonder if those are like spore pods coming out in here or maybe just new moss branches but I really honestly feel like I told you earlier people don't slow down enough just to appreciate some of the miniature wonders that are here in the world so I was admiring this moss and checking out all the cool little branches it has and I was noticing how the moss is starting to change on a lot of the trees it's not flat anymore you're starting to see more of like the the spindles oh look 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 here it is Whoop, I want to be gentle. Look what I found! Isn't this so cool? This is actually a sprouting acorn! So check it out, it is indeed a sprouting acorn! It took me forever, I thought it was a puffball mushroom at first. I swear it's opened up more just since I've been here for an hour staring at it. But it has got its little, its little root self, I can feel it's down, it's made itself like very firm in the ground. It would probably be pulled up if I touched it, but I don't want to do that. But you can see where the top of the acorn has started to open up and something has started to pop out. So I'm going to cover it back up like I found it. And then we'll come and check on this in a little bit because this is the trail right next to my house. So I'm on it a lot. So we'll have to remember next to the cool moss tree, as I do my landmarks, <laughs> is a stick that goes like that. And next to the stick that goes like that is a leaf. And under the leaf is the acorn. So that's pretty exciting. I love it. Also, look at this trash. I'll have to come over here with a bag one day and clean this place up. Because that's what you do when you love things. That's the the greener, gooder choice to make. And then that little patch over there is so pretty. But all right, I'm going to sneak down really quietly to where the frogs are and we'll see how they're doing. Hello everyone. So we are down at the little frog creek and I am looking over. <gasps> There's one. I see one swimming through the water. Oh my gosh. There are tadpoles everywhere. I saw a few sneak under the leaves while I was out here. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny one. Oh my gosh, there's different types of tadpoles running around. Oh, so I'm gonna see if I can get some close-ups of some of them. But I thought this was interesting because these are the empty egg sacs. So this is an emptied out egg sac from uh, the frogs that we've been watching for a while now. And this one no longer has anybody in it, I believe. I'm just going to very gently, yeah, nobody there, but I want to see if we can get a close-up look at one of the membranes without damaging the whole thing in case there are any babies left. Look at how they're all sticking together. That is fascinating. They're kind of like a clump of grapes. Oh, there's a baby right there. Hang on. All right, hang on just a second, guys. There's still babies. You can see if I move over here. I hope you guys can see them. Oh, they're so cute. Attached to the side, so. Oh, here's another one. <laughs> so I don't want to disturb them too much, but check these babies out. Those are some big old tadpoles. Oh, he ran for it. There he goes. There he goes, do you see him? Look at him go. Oh my gosh, you guys, and then whoop, down under the leaf litter, which creates a perfect environment for them to hide in. That is so cool. I cannot believe if I sit here long enough and look around, then I can actually see quite a few little babies. Uh, you have to hold really still and wait patiently. And there's some tiny, tiny, tiny ones. I'll have to see if I can find some. <gasps> look, 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 look. Oh, did you, did you see him? He's like, no, you can't see me. And you can see the itty bitty little tail right there. Oh, look at him. That is so precious. Wow! Oh my goodness! Oh look! And you can see some of them like push their way back into the membranes of the eggs. Like it's a good secure place to hide out. I wonder if it gives them any nutrients even after this point. Like if there's unfertilized eggs in there that they might be eating the ova of uh, so that they can get nutrients. Oh my gosh! I love this! Alright, I'm gonna see if I can find some more good spots of tadpoles because the sun's kind of covering up right on top of our spawn right there. So I'm going to see if I can find another good roost to watch them from. Look, 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 look. Oh my gosh, there was a little guy too. This creek is going to provide endless fascination. I just know it. All right, you guys, check this little guy out. 
Look at that tail development on him. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. This is amazing. Look at this little guy. So this is one of the tadpoles. I just brought, oh, you can see the back legs starting to develop. I brought uh, my, my little jar here so I could carefully scoop one of them up so, so carefully, so, so gently so I could get a really good look at him. And look at him. This is just amazing. You can see his tiny little body. I can't really see his little gills because the dot's in the way, oddly enough. But you can see his little back fins. Look at him. Oh my goodness, I remember when you were just a little dot, little guy. And look at all the little stuff swimming around next to him. I wonder if he eats that. He looks like a giant next to it. But as you can see, he's really small. And he's a little freaked out. So I'm going to release him now that we got a good look at him. But I just thought that was amazing. Look at him go. So the eggs are completely empty now. And I think they're just serving kind of like a hiding place for the remaining embryos. Or for the remaining tadpoles. Gently, gently, there he goes. Back into the water. Back, back into your home. No harm done, I hope. <laughs> yeah, don't harass them too much, but I really wanted to show you guys uh, what they would look like up close. And this creek. Okay, so we've seen their development this week, and it's amazing. And I can see a whole bunch of them swimming around. Oh my gosh, if you hold really, really still. You can see them, like there's some on the branch over there. I can't lean out over the creek. Oh. oh my goodness, it's so fun just to hold really still and to see them swim around and be little tadpoles. And there's water bugs and all sorts of things moving in the water. This is amazing. And I heard the frogs earlier too, so maybe we'll see some of them again one day. <sighs> but that was good. It looks like the baby tadpoles are really starting to flourish. I'm glad they're doing okay because we've had freezing temperatures the last couple days. But I think that their creek stays just fine. This is still one of the most beautiful spots I think that you could find for a little frog creek. And all the babies seem to be doing wonderfully. At least the ones who I can find who are alive. So I will see you guys in a little bit as we continue our hikes and our walks and we check in on these guys again in a couple days. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.